Hello, my name's Mike Ferrara, and I'm here to talk to you about JFK conspiracy theories. First one that we're going to talk about today is the magic bullet theory. The magic bullet theory states that JFK was shot in the back of his neck. The bullet then exited his throat and shot Conley, Governor Conley, in the back. It exited Conley's chest, shattered his right wrist, and ended up in his thigh. Some of you out there might be saying, God, is that even possible? Well, I like to say yes. Yes, it's very possible. And here's how. Yes! Yes, it is far-fetched, but some believe that that is what happened. The next theory that we're going to talk about today is the Grassy Knoll Theory. The Grassy Knoll Theory states that while President JFK was riding in the parade, off in the distance, in the grassy knoll, there was a killer hiding who shot President JFK from that location. Up until now, many Americans believed that only one shooter killed President JFK. But there is a conspiracy theory that states that there were two gunmen. They were in different spots and they both shot different bullets and both killed two different people. I believe it happened. Now join us as we watch a representation of this theory. Jesus Christ! Oh, and we're back with JFK conspiracy theories. During the time period of President JFK's assassination, many government officials, as well as many American citizens, wanted to go to war in Vietnam. However, President JFK was not in favor of that plan. His vice president, LBJ, or Lyndon Bain Johnson, as he goes by, was in favor of that. Now, as a result of this, some may believe, and some do believe, that the reason that JFK was assassinated was because the government wanted LBJ to become commander-in-chief and send our troops to Vietnam. Now you must be saying to yourself, does this mean that the government ordered this assassination? I don't know. Does it, America? Let's find out. Hello, Mr. Johnston. Hello, how are you doing? Good. You know, I, I called you in here today. Uh, it's more, yeah, yeah, it's a proposal. What? Well, I want you to become president of the United States of America. Well, uh... I believe Mr. Kennedy's going to be uh, going for re-election uh, after this term. Not if he's dead. I excuse me? We can kill him. Uh, well, we well, can kill JFK. Hear me out. The government will set up a, a team, a squad, a group, a, a, a team of people whose main goal is to kill President JFK. But, no! Uh, listen! With him dead, you will by default, become Commander-in-Chief. Is that correct, sir? Yes, that sir, is correct. Sir, is that correct? Yes, that is correct. And with you in that power, you can send our troops, U.S. troops, to Vietnam. Yes, I can. And is that what we want? Yes, it is. Say it! Yeah! Yes! 94. 94 years old JFK would be today if he was still alive. Or should I say, 94 years old JFK is today. That's right, many Americans today believe that JFK was not actually killed on that dreadful day. There are two theories that go with this main idea. One being, he never actually died. The shots were never actually fatal. The second part? The second part is that JFK uh, was never in that vehicle with Governor Conley, but there was a decoy, a look-alike, if you will, of JFK that was in that vehicle that got shot by the unknown. That's not important. The important part is the decoy. And, and what we need to find out today on this show is was he a decoy or did JFK, the actual JFK, get shot that day? Many theories were presented today. Many theories that talked about how or if President JFK was assassinated on that dreadful day. 
but it's not up to me to tell you, or I don't even have the right to tell you how he died, or if he died at all. But what I do have the right to tell you, and what I, what I am here to tell you, is that on that dreadful day, the grass was green, and the sky was blue, and what happened to JFK is up to you. That's right, you. It's up to you, Steve Hallis. It's up to you, Tom Letellier. It's up to you, Mr. Riley. You all have the right to decide what happened to JFK.